The typical isotope notation or delta epsilon mu notation looks something like this. Delta is the isotope ratio in a sample divided by the isotope ratio in a standard minus 1 and then times 1000. And the delta notation is typically um, plotted in a three isotope plot, something like this, with, for example, the delta 1816 oxygen ratio on the x axis and a delta 17. 16 oxygen ratio on the y-axis. And then this might be a fractionation line within this plot. And if it's uh, samples from Earth, then they were often plot on more or less single fractionation line, which is called a terrestrial fractionation line, and has a slope of about 0.522. Now the equation of this slope, as it goes through the origin here, by definition, is um, y equals mx plus zero because this is because it's going through the, the origin, there's no y axis intercept. Now in particular with meteorites it might be a sample that's off the terrestrial fractionation line, my plot somewhere like in this point here. And then we want to know a deviation from the fractionation line. And this is the deviation here down directly from the um, terrestrial fractionation line. And this deviation is then called capital delta. And this can be confusing because that capital delta is used in various contexts um, in, for isotopes. Now this is just the deviation from the um, TFL line, basically, or the, the fractionation line. And as the uh, equation for this line is, is this one here, we know a number of um, parameters for this point here. So we know its y value, we know its x value, and then we say, well, this is on, also on a fractionation line maybe parallel to this TFL, and then if we make this assumption, we also know the slope, which is, of course, the same as for the TFL. Now with this, we can make an equation, which is y equals mx plus b, and in this case, b is delta the capital delta here. So we can rearrange this and then get y minus mx equals capital delta. And this is the equation how we calculate capital delta, or if I write this a little bit different and more clear, so then it's capital delta is, and then y is, in this case, delta 1716O minus 0 0.522 times delta 18, 16, 0. And this is then the final equation to cal calculate the capital delta here. And I also want to illustrate this a little bit more interactively here. So this is the same three isotope plot. Now in this case with iron, doesn't matter. It's the same for all the, the isotopes. And then I can start changing the delta x, which in this case is the 57, 54 iron. And you can see how this, this point changes. So the, it, it's only the delta 70, 57, 54, this is changing. And then it is shown how this affects the capital delta value. I could also change the y value. And you can see how this changes. And um, I could, of course, also use here again the oxygen. So um, 17, 18, and 16 and um, designations of the uh, x is not correct, so ignore this. And this is then exactly the same. So this is for y, and this is so, um, basically 17, 16. This is if I change to 18, 16. So it's always then basically plotting along such a slope parallel to the TFL or so. So this is the uh, capital delta notation in a three isotope plot.